This is the Music History Today podcast for August 9th. On today's show, the world loses Jerry Garcia, Kiss goes unplugged with every band member, and Queen plays its last gig with Freddie. First up, though, on this date in 1953, the Drifters recorded the song Money Honey. In 1960, Johnny Horton recorded the song North to Alaska. In 1961, Bobby Darin's movie Come September premiered in movie theaters. In 1963, the British music television show Ready Steady Go premiered. In 1973, Henry McCullough left the band Wings. In 1986, Queen played their last concert together with Freddie Mercury at the helm. In 1990, Aretha Franklin performed at Radio City Music Hall in New York City and LL Cool J began his North American tour. In 1991, the Shirelles were among the performers at a fundraiser at the Apollo Theater for the theater's benefit. In 1993, Lionel Richie divorced his wife, Brenda Harvey. In 1995, Kiss recorded their MTV Unplugged album. It included the original lineup and the replacements of Bruce Kulick and Eric Singer. In 1999, the National Legislature of Japan named the song Kimi Ga Jo, or His Imperial Majesty's Reign, as their national anthem. In 2003, Joey McIntyre from the New Kids on the Block married real estate agent Barrett Williams. In 2012, the group AOA was formed. In 2017, the karaoke TV show based on a segment on James Corden's late night TV show, Carpool Karaoke, the series premiered on Apple television. And in 2021, Jason Isbell became the first major label artist to require proof of either a COVID vaccination or a negative COVID test in order to attend his concerts. In classical music, in 1862, Hector Berlioz premiered the opera Beatrice et Benedict. In 1942, Dmitry Shostakovich's Seventh Symphony was performed in Leningrad, Russia, during the Nazi siege of Leningrad by musicians who were trapped in the city. The Russian soldiers played the performance over the loudspeakers towards the Nazi forces as a sign of resilience. And in 2012, Philip Glass's Symphony No. 10 was played for the first time in France. In theater, in 1969, the musical Zorba closed on Broadway. Albums that were released on August 9th include, in 1968, when Cream released Wheels of Fire. In 1969, Blind Faith released their self-titled album. In 1971, John Sebastian released The Four of Us. In 1974, Little Feet released Feet, Don't Fail Me Now, and Minnie Ripperton released Perfect Angel. In 1976, Grand Funk Railroad released Good Singin', Good Playin'. In 1986, Motorhead released Orgasmatron. In 1988, Danzig released their self-titled album, and the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band released Workin' Band. In 1994, Leonard Skinner released Endangered Species, Machine Head released Burn My Eyes, and Julian Cope released Auto Geddon. In 1996, Therion released Theli. In 2005, on the anniversary of his death, the Jerry Garcia Band released Pure Jerry, Warner Theater, March 18, 1978 to 2005. Also in 2005, Stephen Stills released Man Alive and Yes released Songs from Songus. Singles that were released in the UK on August 9th include in 1982 when Duran Duran released Save a Prayer. Meanwhile, in America, in 1963, Jan and Dean released Honolulu Lulu. In 1967, the association released Never My Love. In 1982, John Mellencamp, then known as John Cougar, released the classic Jack and Diane. In 1994, Elton John released Circle of Life from the Lion King soundtrack. In 2005, Nickelback released Photograph, an often memed song. And in 2020, The Weeknd released Save Your Tears. 
Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on August 9th include the legendary Miss Whitney Houston, also singer Juanes, singer and actress Anna Kendrick, composer Johann Michael Bach, not to be confused with Johann Sebastian Bach, Harry Mills of the Mills Brothers, rapper King Vaughn, Rydell Lynch of R5, rapper Mingi, songwriter Bang Shi Yuck, singer AOJ, Sam Fogarino of Interpol, Arian Salazar of Third Eye Blind, singer Amy Mann of Till Tuesday and also of solo fame, rapper Curtis Blow, singer Barbara Mason, Benjamin Orr, the late Benjamin Orr of the group The Cars, singer Amanda McBroom, Rhinus Gerritsen of Golden Earring, Viv Prince of The Pretty Things, Billy Henderson of The Spinners, country music singer Merle Kilgore, saxophonist Gene Barnes, Pamela Birch of The Liver Birds, Dennis Bellinger of Voivode, Mick Conroy of Modern English, John Perry of The Bonzo Dog Doodah Band, band leader Robert Arthur Hales, drummer Pete Gavin of Heads, Hands, and Feet, and also of Vinegar Joe, drummer and composer Pete Thomas, rapper Mac-10 of West Side Connection, and rapper Tash of The Alcoholics. Artists who unfortunately passed away on August 9th include composer Giovanni Ricci, who passed away in 1613 at the age of 36. Composer Jose Jimenez passed away in 1672 at the age of 70. Composer Gabriel Schultz passed away in 1710 at the age of 77. Composer Johann Treber passed away in 1727 at the age of 52. Violinist and composer Klaus Nielsen Schally passed away in 1835 at the age of 78. Violinist and composer Isaac Strauss passed away in 1888 at the age of 82. Composer Ruggiero Leoncavallo passed away in 1919 at the age of 62. Composer Marion Bauer passed away in 1955 at the age of 57. Composer Philippe Borro passed away in 1958 at the age of 74. Composer Emile Burian passed away in 1959 at the age of 55. Composer Richard Elsassar passed away in 1972 at the age of 45. Trumpet player Bill Chase, keyboardist Wally Yan, guitarist John Emma, and drummer Walter Clark, all from the jazz rock fusion band Chase, passed away in a plane crash in 1974. Bill Chase was 39 years old, Wally Yan was 27 years old, John Emma was 22 years old, and drummer Walter Clark was 25 years old. Composer Dmitry Shostakovich passed away from cancer in 1975 at the age of 68. Composer Max Vredenberg passed away in 1976 at the age of 72. Composer Giacinto Selzi passed away in 1988 at the age of 83. Violinist and composer William Russell passed away in 1992 at the age of 87. Saxophonist Clarence Ford passed away in 1994 at the age of 64. The legendary Mr. Jerry Garcia of the Grateful Dead passed away from heart issues in 1995 at the age of 53. Conductor Robert Satanowski passed away in 1997 at the age of 79. Singer Frankie Ruiz passed away in 1998 at the age of 40. Paul Sampson of the group Sampson passed away in 2002 at the age of 49. Opera singer Chester Ludkin passed away in 2003 at the age of 78. Jazz guitarist Tony Matola passed away in 2004 at the age of 86. TV and film composer David Rexon passed away in 2004 at the age of 92. 
Saxophonist Mark Marouche of the group The Fabulous Whalers passed away in 2007 at the age of 66. Saxophonist Leroy Moore of the Dave Matthews Band passed away from pneumonia after an ATV accident in 2008 at the age of 46. Bassist Jasmine Yu of the group Versailles passed away in 2009 at the age of 30. Blues bassist Fuzz Jones passed away in 2010 at the age of 84. The producer who worked with Whitesnake and Iron Maiden, among many others, Martin Birch, passed away in 2020 at the age of 71. Bassist Daryl Hunt of the group The Pogues passed away in 2022 at the age of 72. And Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductee Robbie Robertson of the group The Band passed away in 2023 at the age of 80. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is August 10th, when in 1937, the electric guitar gets patented, but under a different name. 